everyone is working together to obtain supplies for the winter. Each ant colony contains 20,000 to 100,000 ants, all of whom serve the queen because only she can reproduce and preserve their kingdom. This lizard resides near the colony and feeds on ants and other insects, but it also becomes prey for birds. Although this red-headed bird weighs less than 60 grams, it is a proficient hunter and is known as the butcher's bird because it hangs insects on tree twigs after hunting them. But the rivalry is different in the sky. Birds find it difficult to escape from the golden eagle, which can reach speeds of more than 300 kilometers per hour and has wingspans of more than two meters. It looks for prey in the sky and on the ground. This chain is known as the food chain and it transports energy from one level to the next until it reaches the top of the chain. Top predators have a crucial role in regulating the population of other species. Leopards, for example, keep the population of herbivores like deer and wild goats under check and prevent overpopulation. On the other hand, they compete with other carnivores, such as wolves and jackals, and do not allow their population to become overcrowded. As a result, the top predator fosters a healthy habitat. Leopards known as Persian leopard or Zagros leopard have been spotted on occasion in the Kurdistan region's Sartaki Bamo. That species of leopard is on the verge of extinction. Therefore, we'll go to Sartaki Bamo and spend the night there to see whether they're still there. It has been spotted putting its hands under its head on a stone. We were inside the cave and the leopard was above us, less than 10 meters apart. Two leopards were videotaped here so far. Poisons transport alongside energy. Hello there. Hello, welcome. How are you doing? How is the grazing situation this year? Thank God it rained nicely this year and the grass grew well. It means this year you don't have the issue of drought, yeah? Thank God. So far, so good. Last year we had no idea where to take the animals to graze. You graze them nearby this year, right? Yes, we don't need to go so far. And you are welcome. Thank God you are not facing drought this year. We're actually looking for leopards. As a shepherd who travels frequently, have you ever seen a leopard? I've been a shepherd for six to seven years. That's Zimnako Mountain and that's Bamo Mountain. I frequently visit that peak and occasionally sleep there. I've never seen a leopard, although I've been told that one once came close to us. So you haven't seen a no, leopard yet. yet? Some say there are, but I have yet to see one. What about the rest? Have they seen leopards? My son is a shepherd and he said he saw a leopard around two years ago and recorded it from a distance since the dogs were scared of it. Because he was so far away, the leopard appeared to be a cat. It appeared to be little, like a cat. Yes, 
but never got close to us, even in the video. It was far away. It was seen with its hands under its head on a stone. Are there any other wild animals, particularly carnivores in the area? There are leopards, but I haven't seen any. There are also very dangerous hyenas and wolves. This is Bamo Mountain, where leopards are said to have been spotted. I'll be climbing with Nabaz and Bahez. They installed numerous video traps and built a tiny pond-like structure for wild animals. Stay with us while we climb the mountain. It looks like you guys are not getting tired, but I am. Let's take a rest on this rock. Uh, come on, let's sit and rest for a while. Uh, yes, it has a spectacular view. Here is a height spot and we see the bottom. How much longer until we arrive? Only a few minutes to go. What types of animals do you frequently see in the area? As we've noticed mostly, wild boar, as we have seen, are the most numerous of all mammals. The jackal comes in second, followed by the other animals. When do leopards usually appear? Leopards and hyenas are the least numerous creatures in the area. When was the last time you saw a leopard with naked eyes? We climbed the Bamo mountain and with five friends in March. At 3.15 a.m. I was asleep with two other pals, but Bahez and another friend were up. I was sleeping when I heard a roar. I was dreaming. But when I heard the second roar, I jumped up. Because of fear? No, actually I was thrilled. As we said, it was 3.15 a.m. We woke up, made tea, and began conversing. We were inside the cave and the leopard was above us, less than 10 meters apart. Are they pursued? Have you come across any leopard carcasses? Actually, people usually do not go leopard hunting. I mean, some hunt at random, like wolves and leopards. That is correct. As far as we know, five leopards were murdered after the 1990s. Five leopards? Yes, five leopards were murdered. Actually, the view is so amazing that it is hard to leave the place, but since it is getting late, we have to move. Here we are. Uh, this is uh, uh, one of the small pond-like structures for wild animals that I mentioned. And that is a camera, right? Yes, that is one of them. So every animal that comes here is video recorded. Yes, that camera is for those animals. 
How many leopards have been videotaped here? Two leopards were videotaped here so far. Two leopards were present. Two leopards did drink water here. But that doesn't mean they're always there. They come and go. Because the territory is vast and the population is small. They may only travel here once a year, if at all. When was the last time they came here? The last time was November 2022. What kind of wild animals frequently come here? And wild goats are first, followed by wild boars, porcupines, jackals and squirrels, some bird species, such as chukars and pigeons, snakes too. From June until October of last year, there was a snake under this barrel. Once on this side and once on the other, the snake was here for four months straight, and we videotaped it. Even when other animals come here, the snake stayed here for a long time, and other animals came and went, and the snake never hurt any of them, except once, when he tried to attack a fox, but the fox leapt and ran away. The snake was unable to bite it. I gathered my belongings and opted to spend the night for further investigation. I climbed again and I am drained of all energy. I need to set up the tent first and then I'll stay here to see what animals come. You must take precautions in locations like this, since there may be snakes or scorpions. As Mr. Nabaz mentioned, there was a snake for nearly three months and other types of animals may be present, so it is best to go inside the tent. I can hear some low-pitched sounds but cannot see anything. It is getting late and I haven't seen anything, so I'm going to sleep. But I'm hoping that if any animal comes here, I'll wake up. As Mr. Nabaz mentioned, there are only seven leopards, so it is difficult to see them that easily. Regardless, I hope a wild animal comes along and we may film it. Because the numbers of wild animals is limited, I did not observe any during that day, despite the fact that many animals were videotaped in that location. They can reach a length of 160 centimeters and weigh up to 60 kilograms. Since 2016, the leopard has been listed as endangered, with hunting being the primary reason for its decline. More than seven leopards were videotaped by these two young men in Sartakibamo, Sulaimani province. To identify the tigers, they mark an area on their backs.
the cubs stay with their mother for up to two years before moving to another location and establishing their headship. These tigers live far from humans, hiding during the day and emerging at night to hunt their prey with goats and deer. As a result, they have control over the number of herbivores. The disappearance of leopards will increase the number of herbivores to the point that the area's vegetation will suffer. The preservation of avian variety and food chains is also critical. A crow family, for example, consumes over 40,000 worms per season, acting as a natural pesticide for agricultural land in the area. This implies that instead of using insecticides which are extremely dangerous to human health, crows and other birds kill a large number of worms and insects. In this stunning place, I want to recall a historic happening regarding the importance of the food chain. In the middle of the last century, the Republic of China planned to rapidly expand its economy and increase grain output to unprecedented levels. They had a long-term strategy and achieved modest progress until 1959, when they made a detrimental decision. Why did China decide to eliminate all sparrows? because they believe that each sparrow consumes two kilograms of grain per year. Killing all of the sparrows will increase grain production and allow them to attain their goal sooner. What occurred? A swarm of grasshoppers struck China's farmlands in 1960, causing grain production to plummet dramatically. This triggered a massive famine in China, killing millions. Following that, China imported over 250,000 sparrows from the Soviet Union to rebalance the food chain. That was the outcome of the balanced destruction. What is the importance of the food chain and the top predators? One of the most important aspects of the ecology is the food chain. As a result, when we discuss the environment, we typically focus on it, how to protect the food chain. The first aspect is environmental vigilance. We must educate people about the significance of the food chain. People will protect it if they understand its significance. I'd like to recall a historical incident regarding the food chain. One of the most important aspects of the ecology is the transportation of food and pollutants. Pollutants can be transported alongside food and energy, right? Poisons can, in fact, be transferred alongside energy. For example, if a farmer uses pesticides on his farmland, those poisons can travel up the food chain to the top predator. Pesticides can be carried into rivers by rain. Then, small fish eat it, and giant fish devour the small fish. By the end of the 1980s, by the way, the United States and other environmentally conscious countries have placed a high priority on biodiversity. They noticed that the number of some type of eagle had dwindled. They discovered that it was caused by a distant contaminant after doing thorough research. 
DDT was employed by some farmers to kill insects. That contaminant might have traveled for kilometers to reach an eagle on the top of a mountain by the method I mentioned before. The pollution had gotten into a river, then a fish ate it, and that type of eagle ate the fish, causing a blockage in the calcium pouring on the eggs, and the eggs without a hard shell could not survive. This depicts the movement of components through the food chain. Plants are at the bottom of the food chain. They get their energy from the sun and produce organic compounds through photosynthesis. The organic materials are then consumed by other organisms who convert them into energy. But it does not mean that plants do not need other organisms. A squirrel, for instance, wants to collect oaks, it eats some and saves the rest for later, but they often forget where they dug the oaks and as a result, the oak germinates and grows into a new tree. All we have to do is leave them alone to see how they develop a healthy environment and leave them alone.